while playing games experiencing ping spikes internet lag or even packet loss can be frustrating if you encounter these issues today's video will guide you through various methods to fix possible device generated problem always create a restore point before modifying these methods as they may not work on different devices leading to a various error please check the video link in the description for a tutorial on creating a restore point before proceeding method number one Change DNS server and clear DNS cache. Open CMD as administrator. Now type ipconfig slash flush DNS and hit enter. And then restart your router. After restarting the router, you need to type here ipconfig slash register DNS and hit enter. Now type exit and hit enter. Now again return to your network adopter properties for that just right click on this internet option and open network and internet settings. Now you will see here the change adopter options. Now the device you are using. Now return to your network adopter properties once again then select internet protocol version. 4 IPv4 and then double click on it. Use the following DNS server addresses 1.1.1.1 and the alternative DNS servers 8.8.8.8. For finding the more precise DNS for specific game, you can watch the DNS finder video. Link is mentioned in the description. Now close all these settings. Method 2. Stop background apps in Chrome and Microsoft. In Chrome settings, simply you need to open the Chrome. Select the user if you are using more than one. Scroll down and find the settings. Once you find the settings on the left side, you will see here the system. Now uncheck this option. Continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed. That's it. Now for the windows, click on the windows icon, then go into the settings. Once you are here, click on the privacy and make sure uncheck all these options. Now on the left side, scroll down and find the background apps. Make sure uncheck this option. Let's app run in the background. Step number three, disable power saving on the network adopter. Navigate to the control panel. Once you are here, view by category and then you will see here the network and internet. Again, network and sharing center. Once you are here, you need to click here, change adopter settings. Now just double tap on your internet device, go into the properties. Once you are here, click on the configure, power management. Make sure uncheck this option, allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Then go into the advanced, find here the power saving option, should be disable energy efficient internet, make sure disable this one and scroll down on the bottom, you will see here the wake on magic packet, disable wake on magic packet when system, of course disable wake on pattern, disable and the last wall and shutdown link speed, so make sure select here not speed down and then click OK. Also, if you are using the um, power options, make sure you need to configure it for your internet. As like always, you can use the high performance or you can make another ultimate performance. If you don't know how to do that, link is mentioned in the description. Just go ahead and watch the video. And if you are using any Wi-Fi, make sure go here, wireless adapter settings and power saving mode. It's on maximum performance, low power saving, medium power saving, maximum power saving, maximum performance. Make sure select here the maximum performance. And that's it. Hit apply. Okay. Now the method for disable network throttling index. For network throttling index, go find the link in the description for network throttling index. Open it and download the file. Click on the download and it will start downloading in a zip format. Now open folder, extract into the same location. Open the folder, disable network throttling index folder. Now right click on this network throttling index dot reg and then click on merge. A pop up will appear. Just click on yes, yes, okay. 
Yeah, no time. Number five. Disable Nagle's algorithm on Windows. For Nagle's algorithm on Windows, you need to first find the IP address of your device. Just click on the Windows menu, Windows Start menu, and then type here the CMD. Then right click on your CMD and click on the Run as Administrator. Now type here IP config and hit enter. Now find your IPv4 address, which is your actually IP address 192.168.1.2. Now what we are gonna do next? Open the registry editor by pressing the Windows plus R key and then type R E G E D I T and hit enter. Now navigate to the H key local machine over here and then system and then same expand. Now current control set. Expand it. Services. Expand it. Now find here the TCP IP. Just press T from your keyboard and you'll find it. TCP IP and expand it. Once you expand this, you will find here the next parameters. Over here, expand it. And now interfaces, expand it. Now Find the key contain the value DHCP IP addresses. Now in my case there is only two folder might be you are getting four, five, six, etc. But what we are gonna do here we will find the option which is DHCP IP addresses. Once you have done this now you need to make two files the TCP ACK frequency and the TCP no delay. Just right click on a empty space then new and then dword 32 bit value and see now simply you need to replace the name tcp no delay and again create another the and then set the name tcp ack frequency this is how you can create now just double tap on the top one tcp ack frequency and the value data should be one same thing you need to do with the tcp no delay and the value data should be one for more performance optimization methods and to stay updated on new videos, consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.